Okay, we're going to begin by starting up some initial setup here in the mapping process. First thing to do is to open up your inspector so that you can see the detail about the files you're processing. And you need to make sure you're in bar mode on the timeline. And you want to turn the cursor follows that it's off. And this allows you to keep the cursor stationary. Now I'm going to drag in a song here, just for example, out of my uh, MP3 library. And you notice I'm going to set the time stretch to don't follow. Now in the past this used to be pretty important because you wanted to lock in this song so I didn't move around on you. Nowadays you can actually with M4 you can actually change it over to time stretch because once you put the map in there it will stay stationary so it's a little less critical today. Now I'm going to adjust the first downbeat of the song to a measure line on Studio One. This helps synchronize the downbeats of Studio One and the tempo map that you get out of Melodyne. To do this, you're probably going to have to use a shift drag to turn off the snap or manually turn off the snap. Now here's a little tip. I'm going to trim the front of the file and this just helps Melodyne find beat one. Now of course this doesn't work if your song has a pickup measure but it works if your beat one starts at the beginning of the file. And here I'm going to do a control B to actually apply that trim to the file so now you can see the file no longer stretches out. Now apply Melodyne using Control M or selecting it from the context menu. After it's done processing, you might want to check that it used the proper algorithm. The polyphonic algorithms are much more accurate in terms of detecting tempo. If you're detecting drums, for example, it might use a drum algorithm and you may have to redetect using a more accurate tempo detection method. The next step is very important in order to enable the tempo map. You must click the assign note and then the option button to view the tempo map. The next step is to verify your time signature is correct. If it's not, you can just click it and type in a new one. And you should also verify that your tempo is reasonable. It could be off by 2x or 1 half, and you can just click the drop down to select a new one. Now we'll verify and fine tune the first beat of the song. This is actually a pretty critical step here. You notice if I move the first beat using the uh, time signature, it only moves in increments of the time signature. If I try to move the first beat using the timeline, it only uses the uh, subdivisions defined in the tempo here. In order to solve this problem, to line up to that exact downbeat, I've got to set the subdivisions to something smaller. I'll try 16 at first here, see if that works. And you see that is not fine enough resolution either. So I will go ahead, adjust it to 32 just temporarily here to help make the fine tune adjustment. And if need be, I can just slightly nudge it over using the free form option at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and set this back to 16 because 16 subdivisions, uh, a 16th note is usually good enough for fixing things at that point. So right now let's take an overall look at the curve and it looks pretty good. Melodyne did a good job of looking at it and I'm going to uh, leave the overall advanced editing of each one of these beats to an advanced class but first thing I want to do is make sure that you always get out of the assignment mode. And when you get out of the assignment mode, it will transfer the actual map to Studio One. Here you see it. And it's in the file that was processed. And then last but not least, we're going to open up the 
tempo track and drag the actual file that's been processed onto the tempo line and it will transfer just the tempo data to the tempo line. Once we've done that, we can turn on Studio One's metronome and verify that our tempo map is accurate. So there you go, there's a tempo mapping process that's never been so simple and easy in my experience. All brought to you by Melodyne 4 and Studio One. So I hope you make some natural music with this new technique. Goodbye now from Mustard Seed Recording. You're all right.